But that means that she's at minus BP, yep. And I can take this time to cure all my guys. Alrighty. Bitch, don't crest on moon when you know you're gonna go minus. Uh, before I go all in on her, I'm gonna try and bug her. Pretty sure she doesn't summon any reinforcements. High potion. Power bracers, nice. Most probably have has something to do with increasing your attack. Better have physical tap all, uh, up all for all my allies. This is a tier 2 special, the air splitter. Unlike the previous one, uh, hex slash, whatever the thing was, uh, you can attack all enemies with it. And Tiz inherited the uh, physical attack up from Idea. If I'm not mistaken here, yeah, they've gone to 150%, which is the maximum they can have. Alright. Uh, she can now go nuts with the summons. Oh, let's see the how the summon looks like. It's like that uh, kind of a ghost bride thing. And she still has uh, a lot of MP to spare. I wonder if uh, Ranger gets humans there. And she's down. Oh nice, Bolor. Which means I can now change him to anything else and keep the bow bonuses. And now we finally get the Valkyrie asterisk uh, looks kind of dumb for the guys, but the chick's design is uh, very similar to what uh, Icaria used. The best skill here is Crescent Moon. Uh, basically, attacks all of the enemies. Uh, the kinds of combos you can do with that and its uh, usefulness, I'm going to explain it later on. <laughs> でも。いいか。いいで。落ち着き身に他人腰ではない。お前の目で落ち着こうすれば。わかった。きっと Rest in peace. Okay, um, let's take this opportunity to change some jobs around. Uh, oh, she's almost level 9 Spellfencer. Mm, kind of a hard choice here. I'm gonna let her go to level 9 Spellfencer, then I'm gonna change her to Valkyrie. Our dear Tiz is still gonna go down the road of Monk. However, uh, once I get Pirate, that's when uh, Tiz is gonna shine. For the time, um, instead of yeah, I'm gonna backtrack here just to get the random encounters in, and hoping I can get uh, Idea to level nine spell fencer. Now I have to once again reset all of the brave and attack things. 
Otherwise, my uh, auto will go back to what I did last time when I fought uh, in area. Rest in peace, everyone. Actually, uh... Yeah, no, 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 I'm just gonna backtrack a bit. That extra jump point is really, really useful. Especially when, uh, when, you, when you change jobs for the first time, uh, their status modifiers are a bit low. And they start increasing as you level with them. So the moment you go to a level 1 job, you're gonna be uh, weaker. It's usually not suggested to change your entire party into level 1 jobs all at once. Otherwise you lose precious uh, damage output. Especially when it comes to random encounters. Now some of the random encounters later on are powerful to the point that they will wipe you. Given the chance. There's gonna be monsters that uh, use combos such as sleep and then use a skill which kills everything that's sleep. It's really, really brutal. Or monsters that start spamming slow, uh, monsters that start spamming stuff like uh, fear and charm, which basically just turns your party against you. It's especially bad because uh, later on, uh, characters with low speed like Idea are gonna have uh, trouble fighting those guys properly. Uh, currently, I am playing in normal. I've already explained uh, in my uh, previous playthroughs. The reason why I started out normal first is so that I can get a full gaming experience recorded, uh, then uploaded over to YouTube so that people can see it. And uh, I'm saving hard for later playthroughs. Normal just makes it easier when it comes to grinding as uh, hard mode uh, increases the enemy levels and their health not only that but it actually doesn't increase the rewards which is a bit of a dick move uh, from the game side alright uh, Idea is now a level 9 spell fencer and hmm where's the Valkyrie there we go. Uh, Valkyries use spears. I do have a Valkyrie spear. Albert. Hmm. I think I'm, go I'm gonna have to buy a Mithril spear. Uh, just, just to be sure. I'm gonna give her the magic blade. Where's the magic blade? Uh, sword magic. Every white miscellany. I'm kind of sorry about this guy that only has miscellany available. I think I'm going to give him uh, acrobatics just so that he can use Crescent Moon. Now I'm going to show you something amazing with the Crescent Moon. Basically, once you get Crescent Moon, you, you want to have it on all your main attacking characters. So let me get to a normal encounter here. Now what you want to do with Crescent Moon... Oh, damn it! I went through automatic. Right, let's try this again. Come on. Come on, game. Give me an encounter. There you go. Okay, now, you brave once. You go to acrobatics, you use Crescent Moon twice. That's a standard move for all the characters that are going to have uh, Castle Moon available. The rest just runs at them with uh, Braving three times. Same for Idea, you Brave once and Crescent Moon. Uh, the good thing with Spears is that it increases the damage of area of effect attacks, like Crescent Moon. More like it's made for Crescent Moon only. Uh, as you can see, the damage is amazing. And if I manage to kill all of the enemies in one shot with Crescent Moon, I get a special bonus called Sweeper, which basically increases the amount of uh, gold that I receive. 
Uh, God damn it. I actually want to get a at least one sweeper before proceeding on. Because right now I'll be fighting uh, Fiore di Rosa. Yes. Uh, now that they all died in one shot, uh, you're gonna see Sweeper beside the uh, one turn ace and unscathed ace. Uh, it increases the uh, gold gain, as you can see with uh, denoted by the blue in the bottom screen. Alright, one more level. Oh, what's her job level? Hmm. Nice she's gonna be fine, I think. Should I... I, I'm gonna increase her Valkyrie level by one just to be sure. Because the next boss fight's gonna be a bit hard. Summon Amp. I think it amplifies someone's damage. If I'm not mistaken. Rise MP, cost, and power of summoning magic. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's hope I don't increase the... Um... The encounter rate. This encounter rate thing is really amazing. Fuck off. Wow. Good job, Bear. You, you managed to single handedly destroy the entire bonus. Oh, five days from the village. Oh, special move parts available. Right now I'm trying to unlock the all of the uh, special move tiers as soon as I can. All right, welcome back, sweeper. I'm more interested in the frogs. Not you, bear. It's a bummer when you only see single enemies because the moment you, you find a single enemy uh, your sweeper bonus is automatically lost because you cannot achieve sweeper if there's only one enemy. Oh hey there! Chompers! And... Spear lore. Well, since I'm here let's go until Idia learns judgment. Oh wow! Uh, even if one enemy dies before the others, it will still break Sweeper. As you can see, with normal unscathed, I get up to 61 job points by killing these guys. So, for those of you that want to farm, this is the farming place. Alright, Judgment. I can't stress enough how good this place is for is for farming, especially if you have uh, Crescent Sweep available. Alrighty, time to get back to the city and fight De Rosa. Kind of sad that there's no one around to watch the epic moment when I uh, fight De Rosa. All the people that were yesterday were uh, happy that I was about to fight De Rosa, but I had to cut off. So let's hope those people join in before I fight the guy. In order to fight the Rose, I have to come back here at night. So for now, I'm gonna rest up. And I'm gonna check if there's uh, 
any better spears around.